Hey, my name's Urban Dub. I'm a drum and bass producer, drummer and DJ. I'm always looking for new plugins to up my game and just recently I've been focusing in on compression and a way to find a new multiband compressor and I come across this one by Devious Machines. It's called Multiband X6. So on the screen you've got the default setting, you've got your bands here, you've got your crossovers so you can move them about. You've got independent settings for each band. So when you click on them here, you can go down here and, and adjust your normal compression settings, or you can use it as a whole. And these will be global settings, which will affect every band. You've got different types of compression, punch, smooth, crunch, expand. You've got a mix function. You've got an auto threshold function, which can help you out. You've got some automatic gain functions here. You've got manual gain control here, manual input control. You've even got your stereo mid side. You've got some side chain functions, and then you've got your advanced functions here with look ahead, over sample, and linear phase. So what I'm gonna do now is show you what I've put together to test this compressor and a few of the other Devious Machines plugins. At the top you've got a kick drum in blue, you've got a snare drum here in yellow, I've put a clap below it in yellow, pink you've got a hi-hat, down below it you've got these bases here which are in green. Let's play the loop I've put together with the Devious Machines plugins engaged. <laughs> And then I'm going to bypass some and you're going to hear the difference. What's actually happening is it's not volume duck, it's not volume increase or anything. Everything's set at zero. But what you're hearing is the compression making things punch through the speakers a lot more. I'm going to have a quick look at what I've done to the individual elements, skim through it. So kick drum, solo it. On a kick drum I've used two of the multiband X's. This one here, punchy snare was a preset. I like the sound of it on a kick. Pulled out some of the mids and tweaked it. And then added this one band afterwards. Makes it sound nice and punchy. Come down to the snare group. I've grouped the snare and clapped together. Here's the group here. On the group I've got two multi-bands using presets again which I tweaked. The attack and release compression mainly. And the mix here. Another preset punchy snare. So without them. You lose that transient snap, and that's really what I'm going for with these compressors. On the individual elements, I added Texture, which is a devious plugin. This I've used an acoustic snare preset. It actually adds a layer on top of the snare, which I've repitched here, done some filtering and some other modulation. So let's bypass it. Put it back in. Kind of gives you that live snare layer. And then again, another multiband X6. I've done all this to ear, just using presets, tweaking them. My main focus was to add more punch, more definition, more snap. On the clap, I've used this Devious Machine's Pitch Monster. Um, <laughs> I like the sound of it. I, I just wanted to remove some of the sort of rigidness of the, the clap. So without it, it sounds like this. And then with it, it removes the transient, makes it sound a bit more lo-fi. Hi-hat, I've got nothing. And on the full drum group, I've gone compressor mad, added another multi-band. So without it, it's just adding more compression, a bit more control. And then I just put texture on it. I wanted some white noise. I didn't want to go through this and use EQ or any other plugins. I just wanted to stick to this. And I felt like I needed a bit more crunch. So it's just adding some white noise to the overall drum kit. Let's look at the basses. So the basses without any processing sound like this. Let's engage the processing. They sound crazy. they kind of got this neuro edge to them. Let's look at the bass group. You've got a multi-band here, low-end boost preset. Just catching all of the basses. And I've used these two plugins, again by Devious Machines, called Duck. And this is just used for side chaining off the kick and the snare. So let's look at the individual basses. First one here, bass one. First bass, I've got two infiltrators, which are these crazy modulation plugins. I absolutely love them. I've gone through two presets, one high pass, digital 12, and bass warmer. So without them, sounds like this. With them, sounds like this. Adding some movement, then again, some more compression, fattening things up with this preset here called Phil. Onto this bass here, bass two. Again, I've got another infiltrator. This one here is Reese 2 Neuro. I've used it, tweaks it a bit. It's adding that movement. And then again, another multiband X6. I love what this is doing. It's kind of adding this sort of liquidy, kind of transient-y compression. I, I can't really explain it, but it really thumps through. If you're watching this with a decent set of monitors, a sub, you'll hear this kind of thumping, uh, transient-y sound in the low end. It's really impressive. I love this preset filth. So onto base three, without the plugins. Let's put them back in. So again, more infiltrator. This preset Reese 2 Neuro. And we've got another instance of infiltrator with this preset morphing filter valves. 
and then one more multiband X6 with the preset filth. Add in that filth, that kind of transity liquidy sound that I like. And the last bass here, without the plugins, it's kind of sterile, you know, it's a good neuro sound, but I wanted it kind of a bit more twisted. Put them back in. So you've got Infiltrator here with the preset Reese 2 Neuro. Texture here and some white noise. And then you've got Multiband again. Same preset called Filth, giving you that transient snap. So let's have one more listen to this with and without the plugins. So with. And without. I really rate them. Each one of these plugins is amazing, but the Multiband X6, I really like what it's doing. I like the control I've got, all the different options. It's so deep. I'm going to have loads of fun with it. It's going to help with my mixing, sound design, mastering, and yeah, a whole lot of other things as well. Devious Machines, Multiband X6 is a banger. I check out Duck, Infiltrator, Pitch Monster, and Texture as well. They all come in handy. But the initial punch that I was after, the control, the compression, it's all there, multi-band X6, <laughs> it's sick. So yeah, wicked. Well, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you very soon.